All right, your turn You're now. not going to do it? <laughs> do well, should I take off my you waist just so I can do it? <laughs> All right, you belly roll and I twerk? Yeah, I'm going to okay. belly roll and she's going to Okay. All right. <laughs> Are, we... Are we rolling? We're doing it. <laughs> okay, we're rolling. <laughs> okay, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm here again with Jenna Geary. If you guys have seen her on my channel before, uh, we are doing not legs, hashtag not legs today. Hashtag not legs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so uh, we're doing a back and rear delt exercise or workout today. Um, Jen and I are kind of already went through the workout together and agreed on what we're going to do. I'm going to lead for the most part. Um, I do want some of your tips though, so we'll talk a little bit about some technique things that we both do. But um, mostly right now I'm focusing on um, lower rhomboids, lower lats, trying to target that area because I have some areas I personally want to fill in. Were these um, areas that you, like feedback you got from the judges? No, it's or my just own you personal, personal feedback. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, because. Um, I mean, I've talked to Andy, I've talked to some other people too about like if I was to like fine tune stuff. Okay. So that's kind of where I see, I mean, I've been doing this for 15 years. I know you've been doing it for a long time. So yeah. you can kind of like look at your physique and be like, okay, I'm, I want to fill in this area. Right. And so. at the end of the day, I can say this now because I'm retired, but I don't care what the judges think because it's what I want my body yeah. to look like. Just saying, yeah. but you do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, you are how many weeks out now? I'm seven weeks out from Worlds. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're right on track. I was feeling not so on track last week, but <laughs> we got it, it, comes, we got it, it comes together. The territory. So yeah, um, right now I'm doing a, a back and shoulder day, and then I do a separate shoulder day with a little bit of light arms, and that's pretty much the extent of my upper body training. Okay. I really don't need to build. Yeah. I honestly don't need to really build any more size anywhere else. Yeah. So even like lower half, I mean, yeah. that's questionable if I need to, you know, everyone needs more glutes, right? Yes, me too. <laughs> We all need more ass. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I figured all right, so uh, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, let's get to it. All right. All right. All right, you guys. So first exercise is going to be a straight arm uh, pull down to work overall back. I mean, everything, lats. But you're going to feel it all in your back. So I was telling Jen, I historically have a lot of tightness in my serratus, my upper back area, and it causes some like pinching and weird feelings in my tricep, which is super weird. So she is going to help me try to isolate the lats a little bit better and not feel that pinching. All right. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so first thing that I told her is to not grip, because then you put it, then you also put it in the forearms and you don't need to. I just hook my hands and then think that you're practicing. Look, already you can see a nice big stretch right here. And then you'll see when she comes down, here and then even right down here. So you should feel it all right here, a little bit mid right here, and then at the bottom of the movement, if you're really like pushing back and pinching, you might even feel it a little bit, there you go, in the lower back. You're gonna feel it in the triceps a little bit. Like sometimes I'll superset this if I'm, if I'm doing arms, which I never do arms, and I'll walk in and I'll go right to a tricep press down but you just try to keep all the focus right here. And the weight doesn't have to be crazy heavy. And you just get a big full stretch and a big hard squeeze at the bottom. Yeah. And what you're doing. I my tricep. And what you did it? Oh, oh good. And then we, like, you want to simulate this movement, this mind-muscle connection, when you're doing a pullover. A lot of people have a really hard time doing a dumbbell pullover, and it's because I personally would put them on this first before yeah. I do a pullover. Yeah, for sure. So I, I'm gonna go up, and we're just gonna do sets of 12. Who started, you or me? Uh, I think you did. So this should be our last set. Yeah, one more. So this is really kind of a warm up to our whole workout. I think it's our only like lat. Huh? It's our only lat, like wide lat. Yeah. We're just doing.
Okay. All right. Uh, so now what do you want to do? You want to go over to... Okay. Yeah, so I've been doing some like very tabletop flat bent rows. And when I notice I bring it up high, when I notice I feel a lot more of my mid back area okay. when I do that, um, you don't have to go super heavy. Okay. Just that angle, it's just Are so you doing heavier. barbell or dumbbell? Barbell. Okay, let's do it. Um, I haven't done these in a really long time, yes. but this is how I teach my clients how to do proper rows. Yeah, so. So a lot of times, you know, you're more angry. Are you doing a dead stop row? Um, I go pretty, I don't stop, no. We could okay. do that today. I, I, I won't be able to get down that low. Just okay. 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 Not. We won't do that then. <laughs> All right, uh, so we're gonna do uh, four sets here. We're gonna go eight to 15. Um, it's not really about the rep count, it's more about quality reps because we're really trying to target that very specific area and, and we're aiming for hypertrophy. So it's, it's good tempo, we're not swinging it, we're not using momentum, it's really isolated. So you'll know, when you're an experienced lifter, you know when you've hit a good point. Um, you also have to be careful because we're so bent over lower back can start to get kind of fired up a little bit so we're going to also make sure that we're just keeping the core really tight and you know I always stop if my lower back just starts to hurt. Girl, you are shredded. Oh, God. Like I'm so pumped. Jen's training for life. <laughs> Which show are you doing? I know. No show. I like to look good naked. Yeah. That's it. Look at the look good naked plan. What are we putting on? Uh, another 10. Another 10? Okay. Yeah. Good. I was hoping you were going to say that. I do really small increments. Jumps? Good. Yeah. Because it is, it's such a specific area. You can easily stack up the weight and then your form goes to shit. Yeah. You start swinging and the whole point of it, you're supposed to make it hard. You're supposed to isolate. Like when people go, oh my God, that's hard. I'm tired. You're supposed to be. Yeah. And you do, and it depends on the exercise in reference to small jumps. Like yeah. we wouldn't go up 10 pounds on the leg press, yeah. but we're gonna go up 10 pounds on a bent yeah. over. Yeah, really. And then again, protecting the back, right? Because that fatigues. And once it goes, it goes. Yeah. Right? Go, Jen. That's fifteen. Good. Strong. <laughs> All right. All right, what's next? Let's do, um, I, either I wanna do um, a dumbbell, like chest supported dumbbell row, okay. or we can do a um, cable version, or the machine in the back. The same movement pattern. But don't different. we wanna do a lat pull down? One. Do a close. Yeah. So here's, okay, so here's my little two cents. I like to go back and forth from row to left. So like we did a straight on press down, a row, Lat pull down, a row, rear delt. Yeah. So. So yeah, I'll okay. do it like that sometimes, and then sometimes I'll load all the rows, and then I'll do all my lat pull downs. Okay. Well, what are, what are we doing today? Let's burn. Now I, I can do the my rows. Huh? I want to burn up my rows. You want to burn out your rows? All yeah. right. So let's do the dumbbells. Row, row. I haven't row, done row. those in a minute. Okay. Are we gonna be a douche bag and clean up our weight or no? Yes. <laughs> all right. So. Often I get this question, I'm sure you do too, people ask me if I train chest, and I say, generally speaking, no, I don't train chest. My training split, you guys heard at the beginning of this video, uh, basically sh shoulders and back is really what I hit. 
Um, I really don't train chest and I don't really train arms very much. I hate arms. And Jen was just telling me she does the same way. So why is that? I don't train chest because of my implants and they're under the muscle and you can do damage to them, so that's number one. And then I am a very, everything that I do, I do with purpose. Um, and I need like a motivation to be in the gym. So like I want to perform better, I want my shoulders to stay the size, I want my back to stay with depth, I want my, to grow my lower body. I have no goal for biceps and triceps. I don't want them to be bigger, more defined, bigger peak, I don't, a horseshoe, I have no goal. So going into the gym to work out a muscle that I can care less about yeah. is not it's an effective use of your time. Yeah. And you do train biceps and triceps as a secondary muscle in pretty much Some every other exercise that we do. Um, and you can see she doesn't have small arms for a female. She's definitely not weak, but really not doing any isolated tricep or bicep work. Now, is that a good or a bad thing? Is that a rule of thumb for everybody? Absolutely not. But um, it, I personally don't have an aesthetic or strength goal around it. And um, it doesn't improve me in the sport that I perform in. And, and I don't yeah. necessarily think that if I have stronger biceps, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be stronger on rows. And I, I don't really even care about my really my strength in rows. I care about the isolation of the lats yeah. when they're firing. The develop of, of the muscle, yeah. right? Because strength does not equal hypertrophy. Yeah, they do overlap, but they are not one and the same. Yeah, and I think a lot of people miss that. So they think that you, especially if you only have, if you're a woman, you only have 45 minutes in the gym, three or four days a week. It's a really ineffective use of your time. It burns exactly. very few calories to train bicep and triceps. So yeah. Back to the workout. All right, who's gonna go first, you? Uh, I'll go first. Done. So we'll start with... How many, uh, how many did you do? 12. 12? I felt like you were there for like a fucking hour. Lifting slow. Slow mo. Slow mo lifting. Okay, yeah, so for this exercise, we're stretching really far forward and letting the chest kind of come down a little bit. And then you can see she's pulling back towards her hips. So we're really hitting, again, like that mid-back area, but also getting a lot of lats too, right? You feel like the lower lat area. Are you going heavier? I'm gonna try the 30s. Are you gonna eventually do the 35s? Maybe. Okay, I'll leave them out. Do you ever go um, lower than 12 reps? Only on single arms, on those. Only on single arms? Because I feel like I can't, I feel like I can't load these with two arms without losing my form. Because I can row, I mean I've gone up to 70 on a row. Single arm. Single arm. But I can't, I can only do about half when I do both arms. I don't know really if it's really exhausting. Huh? It's really like exhausting. I, like, I feel my heart rate shoot right up. And then you gotta make sure that you keep your abs tight. So I will say a little fun fact for you. You will feel like you're gonna pee your pants or you're gonna throw up if you don't keep your abs tight. So it's just gonna push up against you. All right, I'm doing the 50s. Don't I don't have your wrist wraps. I might only get 10. Come on, bitch. 
have done. No. Ah. See, look at she's like, come here. It's like an anatomy project. Do need a more of a back foot. So this is the area. See how like much depth Jen has right here. This is what I'm trying to achieve: more density in the mid back. This. No, no. I won't pose like that. <laughs> no. There's don't no do that. To pose like that. Unless you're doing bodybuilding. Right, no. Like women's bodybuilding. Which I'm not, but no. I still like to do that every now and then. Oh, we have another set? No, we're good. That's it? Yeah. Okay, that pull down. Good. good. All right, let's clean up our shit. <laughs> so I like to get a big stretch here, like bring my shoulders all the way up to my chin. And then the rotation. Yep. But you don't have to do that because you try to. So just keep them, but keep them close to the body like this. Yeah. So don't go too wide. Keep them close for the ladies. So if you have, if you're a woman who has uh, breast implants, recent, especially if it's recent, um, keeping your arms close to your body, nothing wide. So no wide grip pull downs, wide grip pull ups. If you're gonna do pressing, if you wanna do chest, you don't wanna do wide, you wanna keep everything really close, elbows close to your body. Um, and it just keeps things from spreading yes. and expanding, yeah. basically. Stick the chest out even more at the bottom. No. And Nothing. then stick it out more, there you go. That was better. Better? Yeah. Takes so much focus. I know. When you're... Technically, you should be focusing anyway, Victoria. It's... <laughs> <laughs> so, what we were talking about before we started the workout is, um, I started training 15 plus years ago, really getting into weightlifting, and, you know, like, you don't always do things right when you're first getting started. So, I think many years of not quite performing lat pulldowns correctly, created some bad habits and some muscles that were like overactive. So this type of movement feels much better on my lats than if I did a wide grip pull down. Notice sometimes I close my eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm visualizing the right muscles yeah. flexing. Go in here. Ah! Feel it. Ah! Good. All right, guys, so we are doing single arm um, machine row, really pulling down towards the hip. We're doing three sets of about 12 reps here. Um, and again, we're trying to really target the low lat area. So you can see Jen is even leaning a little bit to that side and kind of like almost doing like a side uh, crunch to really contract this lower lat area. And then, of course, getting a really nice long stretch there at the top. You look like you've done this before. <laughs> Good. You said he wanted something special. <laughs> 
Is this a glute workout? This is not a glute workout. No, it's not a glute workout. But they're so used to seeing it, we have to add it in. Was that light for you? Yes. I feel like it was still very light. At least two pins. Two pins. Two pins. Come on. Uh. All right, was that three? Yeah, that was three. All right. So we're only doing three sets of this, and now we're gonna go over to Rhea Delts. Are we gonna do that super set? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get to work. All right, so we're moving on to rear delts. We're gonna do a rear delt super set. These are actually two of my favorite moves. I know. I'm this excited. This one is my favorite move. Damn. I'm I haven't really excited. So um, this is typically used for like a low row, but we're gonna actually modify this, crisscrossing the cables, and then opening out um, to a rear delt cable fly. And this machine, this particular setup, just because of how it's configured, this is actually very heavy, even though it's only five pounds. If you don't have strong rear delts, you might not even be able to use this as an option. I would just go to like a dumbbell, um, right? Yeah. Like a bench dumbbell fly yeah. as a substitute until you build up the strength to do this. Yeah, even that five pounds is heavy for me. It's heavy for both of us. Yeah. So that, and then now she's gonna do the face pulls. And then pulling up to the ears. So just all right here. So we don't want any back on this one because we're done with back. We're just doing rear delts right now. So we're pulling from low to high so it stays in the rear delts instead of moving to the mid back. All right. All right, now, now we're actually gonna work out. Um, so she's gonna start and I'm gonna wait for her and then we're just gonna go around and this will be the finisher. So we'll do three to four sets depending on how we feel. See. So she's just about to go to this while I'm talking. So you're gonna lose tension on the rear delt. Ow. So I don't like, so you lose tension on the rear delt if you let these come in too much. So you shouldn't hear that. You should keep them together the whole time. Keep all the tension on the rear delt. Something else that I was gonna point out too is, so see how it's almost like you angle your pinky up a little yes. bit, right? So if you wanna give this a try at home, you don't want your thumbs up, you almost want to be angling. So pinkies kind of point yep. upward. And that's gonna put your arm into a position to really hit those rear delts and not let it kind of go into other parts of your chest and shoulder area. Like a pro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Make it burn. And then I guess something else to point out is really hooking your hands around this attachment, kind of like, do you think scarecrow? Like driving the elbows back and then you're kind of scarecrowing the arms up. Just really focusing on working. You can even feel the body gets really hot right here. Sometimes you can see it change color when all that blood flow gets right there. Yeah. 
It gets kind of pink, even purple almost. What's purple? Like when all the blood gets oh, right yeah. there, you can start to see it. Oh, that sucks. You know you're working the area. That if you're not sure if you're working your rear delts, you should be able to reach over and it should feel hot. Like that specific area, you can feel the temperature difference between the front and back. Do you feel oh, that? Yeah. It's crazy. Okay, so Jen, what would be your number one tip for uh, any woman who's trying to have better arms? Arms or delts? Arms. Arms. Let's just focus on delts. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so my, my tip is when you see a woman who has great arms, likely what you're not seeing is that they have great arms, but they have great delts. Right. Because you see this line here, right? You, you, you see the definition here and you think, oh my God, she has great arms. And it's really not arms. It's that her delts are well developed. So the tip is, and I learned this in my first certification 23 years ago, that you do three pull exercises for every push because we are very protracted on our phones, on our keyboards, driving. So for me, that's how I've always trained since I got my certification. Um, so I, and like we talked about earlier, when I was doing three upper body days, I would hit rear delts on every workout. So I don't want to say over training, I just say over stimulating. Some muscles have um, m better muscular endurance yeah. like calves I train them yeah. four to five days Definitely. a week um, and they've grown since I've trained them that much so um, I would just say hit them as much as possible Frequency. Um, yeah mm -hmm. absolutely Same. yeah um, and buys and tries um, I, I'm not gonna give any <laughs> tips on those because my tip would be don't do them why <laughs> Watch the YouTube video, you'll find out why. <laughs> um, do you have any more rapid fire questions? Okay, rapid fire question number two. Uh, a lot of people say it's really difficult for a woman to build muscle. Is it just as difficult to maintain muscle or about the same or how would you describe that? I, okay. So, and then we even talked about weight loss. So I don't like to use the word easy. Um, when I explain this to people, I say one requires a lot more patience. Um, I think every one of them, you have to enjoy the process uh, because it is mentally exhausting thinking about a goal um, and it's really, really far away. Like even somebody that has to lose 100 pounds or somebody that wants to put on 20 pounds, they're both exhausting, they're both gonna take time. And you wanna know what's funny is that they both probably take, a lo the loss of 100 pounds could take just as long as the gain of 20. Probably even take longer to gain 20 than you yeah. could lose 100. So I think just one is not easier than the other, it just requires more patience. Yeah. So like, um, uh, you could lose anywhere depending on how aggressive your goal is. Like if you only have 20 pounds to lose, you're not gonna lose that in the first month. But if you have 150 pounds to lose, yes, you could lose anywhere from eight to 20 pounds in one month, but you're only gonna put on one to two pounds of muscle in a yeah. month. That's just the way the body works. Yeah. And when it comes to maintenance, I personally feel if you are not somebody that gets to goal and thinks, now I can go back to the way things were, yeah. like you followed a protocol to get to a goal of whatever it is, weight loss, maintenance, uh, weight gain, whatever it is, if you follow that process and then understand that it's still gonna be a process to maintain it, I think it's easier to maintain than it yeah. is to build. Yeah. Um, 100%. If I'm going to use the word easy. Yeah, 100%. The, what it takes to build muscle is not what it takes to maintain muscle. Right. You still, though, ha there is sort of like a baseline of what you need to do to maintain. It is not as difficult right. to maintain it as it is to build it. And I use difficult again lightly because right. what I personally believe that most people find it difficult to build muscle because they aren't doing what it takes to build muscle to begin with. Right. They're not consistently eating their protein, they're not training to the right intensity, their proficiency in the movement patterns isn't very good. So yeah, if you're, Routine you know. Routine needs yeah. to be consistent. Yeah, it's like trying to drive to New York with the map to like Chicago, right? right? You're right. like, yeah, you're not gonna quite get there. Right. So um, I think that once you have the right plan, building muscle is, takes the time that it takes, which is one to two pounds a month most likely for most people, and then to maintain it is not as, quite as difficult. And just to add something in, because we didn't talk about this at all, I personally feel, and it's because I've been on this, I've been going through this, it is, I think, more uncomfortable to try to put on weight. I am constantly mm. at this, I am always full. Yeah, um, 100%. 
and we push, push, push calories and then we pull them back a little bit to give my digestive tract. And this is anybody. I have Crohn's disease and colitis. I, I would still, with a client that was trying to put on weight, I would still want to give that digestive tract a break. So you push calories, then yep. you pull back a little bit, then you push again, then you pull back. Yeah. So I find that the weight gain process is a lot more uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, even if, if there is any level of comfortability in yeah. this whole process at all. Anytime you're not in a, a maintenance, if you are in a deficit or if you are trying to build anytime you're not in that like sweet spot where yeah. you're, everything's uncomfortable yeah. right yeah. because you're eating either less and yeah. having an a surplus or a deficit and, and they're and both uncomfortable yeah. and you have to just what you said it's a process and just enjoy the process and embrace it and then know that you know like what you said you start to push too far okay well let's taper back a little bit yeah. temporarily and then you push again right and that's ultimately like the step to your goals yeah yeah so uh, I think that's a good one to end on. Even though we only we didn't like rapid fire a bunch of questions, yeah. I think those are two really we'll good ones. We'll put them together for next time. Yeah, we'll absolutely. Do some, and or we'll like even do like reels. some Q, Q and A's. Mm -hmm. So we'll ask, um, and then maybe we'll do another ice bath. Should we do that? <laughs> Leave the comments. We should do another ice. Now that it's getting hot. We should do another Q and A ice bath. We're as gonna we do stand, a Q and A ice bath. Leaning next time. on the yeah, but it actually has to be really, really cold this oh, time. Man. Yeah, I think it was only like sixty. No, I think it was 50, 50. 52. Um, and then I did another video after that, and I think it was like forty-seven, but it's supposed to be thirty-five. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. yeah. So we got some ice. I'll get a wet suit Some work then. to yeah, a wet suit. That doesn't count. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. Make Leave sure you comments. Follow Jenna Geary. Make sure you follow her <laughs> and myself, Six Pack Chick, on social media and leave a comment below if you guys want to see more like this and we'll see you next time. Sweet. I, I like that ending. That was good.